Hey guys, Johnny here from Ecomax SEO. Just quickly, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button below or head on over to our free private Facebook group where we've got plenty of great discussion going on over there about Shopify SEO. Uh, now, in one of the previous videos, I mentioned that we're now working with Deepcrawl and we're using it for our technical SEO analysis and audits on our sites and our client sites. And just wanna go through uh, you know, some of the elements, but in particular today, I wanna to talk about orphan search pages. So one thing that Deepcrawl does is it makes it really easy to identify uh, the, the different parts of a Shopify store or a site where there are issues. And you end up with, um, essentially on this dashboard page, you can see all these issues that this particular site has that we've actually been crawling. So you've got all your, your issues that you can work through, but I actually just want to talk about um, Orphan Search console pages because I think it's probably an area that's missed quite easily um, by Shopify store owners, especially stores that have been around a while and they've, they've made some changes and products have come and go. Maybe they've got some um, some static pages that they've created and then they're not using anymore. There's many different reasons uh, why orphan pages can be um, created. So if I just hover over the deep crawl information icon, you can see here that um, what how they class or how these classes, uh, these pages that have been um, identified, they class as them as pages which receive clicks in search analytics of Search Console, because we're integrated with Search Console here, but were not discovered during the crawl. So when Deep Crawl went and actually um, crawled the site, these pages were not found, but they are in Search Console. So Google knows they're there, but the crawler can't find them. And it was a Google bot call uh, emulating using Deep Crawl. So often search, often, um, pages can be a problem because they're not linked to from anywhere else in the site. So essentially they could be known as what's called doorway pages. And they, first of all, they might be pages that actually um, have some value and you want them to start um, generating traffic and ranking. And if they're not linked to internally from the site, um, the bots are not going to find them and either are, the, uh, are your customers navigating through your store. So they provide no real value to a user and Google notices that when they identify them in Search Console and the bots actually find them, but there's no link or, or navigation to those pages from the store itself. So you can see this side here, it's got 136 orphan Search Console pages. And when we went through the process, we found that um, a lot of these pages were um, static pages that were created by an, an app, and it was an app that was creating sales pages. Um, the, this particular site was using sales pages um, a while ago they stopped doing that, they turned off the app, and then those pages uh, are still just actually live um, in, in the Shopify store. And yeah, we can go through and actually um, see those pages um, in the Shopify dashboard, um, but unless you, you know, if you're working on a site, and unless you know that um, they're not required anymore, you need to go through th this process to actually find out um, that in this particular instance, they were orphaned, and then we've spoken to, obviously, the um, the site owner and understood that those pages are not required anymore and we don't want them on the site. So we've now gone through the process and cleaned all those up. So when we click through to the orphan pages section, we can see here, um, this chart shows all the URLs which were discovered but not included in the crawl because of a restriction. So, and then it just sort of groups them. So we've got um, some unlinked paginated pages and that might be because the paginated pages um, either had a no follow or a no index on them. So um, those pages weren't able to be found by the crawlers. So that can actually, that, that's that one of those roadblocks that you want to be aware of. Um, often canonical pages, uh, often sitemap pages. So there's no pages in the sitemap that were orphaned. Uh, often pages with backlinks. Now this is interesting because, um, you know, links have come in either naturally or created um, to the store or to, to these actual orphan pages. So uh, they may have some authority and you want to, you want to um, push that link equity through, um, but if there's no internal navigation to them, then obviously um, you're not generating the benefit of those. And then you can see here, here are the orphan pages pulled in through Analytics and Search Console. So you don't need a tool like Deepcrawl to actually find orphan pages, but obviously uh, it makes the process a lot easier. You can do it with Screaming Frog, you can do it with a number of other tools, uh, you can do it manually, you can look, look at them through your search analytics. So there's a number of different ways you can find your orphan pages, but the, my main point today is you want to, especially on e-commerce stores that uh, you know, you've worked on for a while and some changes have been made, just make sure that you don't have um, orphan pages within your site. Um, that are providing no value. 
um, it can devalue the site and obviously de devalues those pages. And if, if number one, you're missing out on the opportunity that those pages could provide, um, you can also be uh, causing, you know, or lowering the value of your entire site by having too many orphan pages. Okay, hope that was helpful. Talk to you next video. Thanks.